Okay, um, now we're going to look at the gallery section, which we're going to draw image. Actually, what I should have really done in this previous video, which I forgot to do, was um, she told you to indent these. So as you can see, it's not very um, organized very well and presentable currently where the paragraphs and all these lines are starting actually outside of the div, in line with the div. So what we're going to do is highlight that and we're just going to tab, press tab one, two, three, three times and we're going to move that in. So these are not, no, they're not going to tab. Okay, so we're going to tab that in and move that H1 tag in as well. Move that in once, and then the paragraph here once. Okay, so remember, when you um, do your HTML script, it needs to be organized and not all over the place. Okay, so now what we're going to do is look at the gallery. Okay, so we want um, like several images to appear in a gallery um, for the section. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a div. So we're going to make sure indent div and class. We're going to call this one container. So all of our images are going to be inside a container. Okay, and we're going to close that off there. And then within that, what we're going to do is we're going to create a UL which as we looked at previously stands for unordered list okay so if we know that it's an unordered list it's followed by li li okay and that li is going to have a class and that class is going to be called box and then that's good oops And that's going to be closed off there. L I. So we have put the speech mark there. So box, close that off. Okay. And now in between that list box, what we're going to do is we're going to put our image in there. So I'm going to call mine image S R C. And then locate that image. What's my image called? Uh, image one, or we'll just double click that. Go to our image folder and click on image one. I'm going to close that off. Underneath that, we're going to have a p tag. Uh, we're going to call that image one. I'm going to close that p tag off. Save that. Okay. So that's our image. If we save that and uh, we view this now on our screen. Okay, that's what it will look like. Image with the word image underneath. The reason that's happening now is because we obviously haven't styled it. Okay, before we style it, what we're going to do is we're going to create around one, two, three, four, seven more. So it should be eight in total. Let me just put a gap in between that to separate it. So all I'm going to do here is now change image two to image two. So the second one, next one, three, and so on. So fast four, and that takes to four, five, and five, six, six, uh, make this seven, and seven, and we're going to do it one more time, eight, so this is picture number eight. Put the gaps, okay, sort it out, organize this properly. Okay, if we save that, okay, once again, obviously, we're going to have image after that. The reason this is happening, we need to style it. So let's quickly go style it. What we're going to do is come down here and go to gallery. So in the uh, gallery section, firstly, we're going to target the image. So image is inside a class called box so we're going to come here and we're going to write dot box img and we're going to set the firstly we're going to set the background sorry no it's img oh, sorry we're doing the background yeah. so width and we're going to make that 200 pixels then we're going to do the height and that will be 100 pixels so I'm going to close that off and we can see what that looks like now. So now if we refresh it, okay, so now all the images are there 
they're all aligned or sorry down one after the other okay so what we need to do now is to align those into a box so first thing we're going to do is go to gallery and then we're going to do dot gallery li dot box and we're going to do display inline box sorry not sorry inline block dot box okay if we look at that now let's see what that looks like okay can you see the images have gone um, in line to a block now we want to split these up four and four so what we're going to do actually before we do that to this box we're going to add some padding we're going to do padding now we're going to do five pixels for the top to five pixels for the right 10 pixels for the bottom and five for the left and then what we're also going to do underneath that is we're going to put some uh, background color into that background color uh, we're going to background color i'm just going to copy and paste that color there save that okay let's see what it looks like now okay now we've got these blocks can you see those blocks um actually we've got like little gallery frames there i've never got one to buy Okay, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to put some margin around it. So currently they're all like attached together. So I'm going to put margin 10 pixels, oops, 10 pixels by 5 pixels. Okay, so now I spaced it out. Excellent. Look at that. It's starting to look um, much more presentable now. Uh, what we're also going to do is, firstly, uh, how many images have I got? One, two, we've got nine. Actually, I want to get rid of one of them. Let me go back to my code. Six, seven, eight. I'll just get rid of this one since it's repeated. Okay, so I've got eight there. What I'm going to do is put the, the container now. Now, what I can do with the container is style the container. So I'm going to come here. Dot con now this once again like the banner you can very uh, you can adjust the width accordingly so container width let's do 900 pixels for now and see what that does close it off okay can you see the container is now squashed up okay we don't want 900 let's make it 80% of whatever the width of the wrapper is so 80% Okay, they excellent, perfect. That's gone now into uh, four on four because it's made eighty percent. Now we want this to be in the center. So just like we've done previously with the wrapper, where we did mar margin equals auto, we can do that with the container as well. Margin auto. So it'll automatically put it into the center of the div. Okay. That didn't work because I didn't put a semicolon there. Okay, excellent. So that, there we go. Now we've got our you know, margin around it. So now we've got our box. What we also need to do is, can we see these gaps between the two divs? The reason that's happening is because our UL, uh, as you know, all um, HTML properties by default have their own um, custom styles. So obviously there's a margin around that one. So we're going to go to dot gallery and ul do margin and then zero for the margin excellent so that's covered it up now so that's the gallery what we can also do is we need a title for the gallery so i'm going to go come into here right top just outside of the container make sure it's outside the container not inside it and do a h1 tag and that h1 tag will be gallery close that tag off save that and we've got a title there obviously we can adjust this and put our own custom style on it what i'm going to do is go back up there and just use what i've used for h1 or I, actually i didn't use one for h1 so what i'm going to do is create my own one 
So I'm going to go to style down here. I'm going to write dot title. Or should I do dot gallery title? Then I'm going to call that. Sorry, do the font color. White padding. I wish I did the padding. I'll do 20 pixels. Font family. Let's close that up. What mistake have I made? That's the one semicolon missing. So, gallery title, copy that. Go into my script, h1 class equals gallery title. Refresh that, hopefully, that should have worked. Yep, that's now centered. Okay, so that's how you make a gallery for your page. Obviously, what we haven't done is these images we need to center those images so once again we can target the p tags in there so you go to style it's going to create a new class draw gallery caption let's call it i'm going to call it caption so that's what it is um, font family and i'm going to make that font family which i'll make it here we go again Text align. I'm going to align it in the center. Uh, what else we're going to do to that? Thinking that like, uh, color is white. Going to font size. Font size. Let's make it 16 pixels. Close that off. Save that. Oh wait, we haven't assigned that. So what we do is copy it. Uh, we go to p class equals I don't know the one we just made save hopefully one of them should move there you go that's now moved to the center okay we can change the color as well color white Okay, so that's image one. So you can do that to all of your images and you can adjust that accordingly. So that's how you create a gallery page uh, for, actually, let's just do it for all of them. And so I'm just going to pause the video while I just um, apply that style for all of those images. Okay, so I've applied that to all of them. Let's just see if that's worked now. Refresh. Excellent. So now those images are now uh, sorry, the text is now caption is applied to all of the images as you can see. So that's the gallery section. That's how you can do a block of images. Now, once you've done your original block, you can make as many as possible. So if I was to let me just take one, how many have I taken it? One, two, three, four. I'll copy and paste them as many times as I want. Okay, so that will just create that block. So this because I've created a container here, it will not go further towards the right it won't take up the whole screen it will just keep going downwards until you decide to stop so that's how you create a gallery so if you wanted to create just a page of images um, that's how you would create it